Oxygen is carried by your blood to every cell and organ in your body through your bloodstream. The amount of oxygen being carried in your blood is known as oxygen saturation. Those who are battling a lung condition sometimes require supplemental oxygen in order to maintain oxygen saturation above 90%. This video explores seven signs that you may need to speak to your doctor about an oxygen prescription. Number one, you feel short of breath when walking. It's normal to feel short of breath when walking uphill or walking quickly over a long distance. But if you feel so short of breath while walking at a normal pace that you have to stop and take a break, that's a telltale sign that your oxygen levels are too low. Number two, your heart races when you walk at a slow or moderate pace. When your brain senses that there's not enough oxygen, it sends the heart a signal to beat faster to circulate more oxygen so your heart rate goes up. If you keep walking, you may feel dizzy or experience heart palpitations. You may even start to sweat since your body will react like you're exerting yourself and try to pump blood quicker and in its attempt to circulate more oxygen. Number three, your walking oxygen blood saturation is below 88%. If you're short of breath and if your COPD is more advanced, your pulmonologist will likely order a six-minute walk test. The doctor will put a pulse oximeter on your finger and observe you while you walk on a treadmill or just up and down the hallway in the office. When we're sitting, we just don't need as much oxygen, but the moment we get up and start walking, our body requires more oxygen to provide energy. Levels above 90% are considered normal. If yours is consistently below 88%, your physician will likely prescribe oxygen therapy. Number four, you feel tired during the day. Everyone feels tired sometimes, but people with COPD or other respiratory conditions are more likely to have trouble sleeping. Symptoms like coughing and wheezing can definitely disrupt your sleep, but low oxygen levels overnight can also impact sleep quality and leave you feeling tired during the day. Everyone's oxygen levels decrease a bit overnight because breathing slows down, but for someone with COPD, they may drop too low. In this case, your doctor may prescribe oxygen therapy for use overnight to help you get better rest. Number five, your fingers or lips look blue. Low oxygen levels can sometimes cause the fingers or lips to take on a blue tint, a condition known as cyanosis. This is usually more noticeable in more extreme cases when someone's oxygen levels are drastically low. It's not that your hands aren't getting any blood flow, rather that the blood is not full of oxygen, which gives us its red color. If you notice your extremities turning blue, seek medical attention immediately. Number six, edema or swelling of the feet and ankles. Swollen feet after a long walk and ill-fitting shoes is one thing, but if there's no obvious cause for puffy feet or ankles, check in with your doctor. People with COPD may experience swelling in the extremities as a result of having low blood oxygen levels over time. The liver and kidneys need sufficient oxygen to do their job, which includes filtering toxins and fluids from the body. When they aren't getting enough oxygen, they can't function properly, which may result in swelling of the extremities from fluid buildup. Number seven, other treatments aren't helping. The effects of supplemental oxygen are immediate and have a positive impact on the heart, lungs, and brain. A corticosteroid inhaler can help reduce spasms in the airways and allow you to breathe more deeply, but it won't improve oxygen levels the way oxygen therapy can. You likely need a multi-pronged approach to treat your respiratory illness and its symptoms. So if you're already using an inhaler and still fear short of breath or have trouble walking, adding oxygen therapy may be the next step. Long-term oxygen deprivation can cause serious and irreparable damage to cells and organs. If you're experiencing some or all of these symptoms, speak to your doctor right away. If oxygen levels are low over an extended period of time, it can cause neurological damage, organ failure, or even death. If your doctor has prescribed supplemental oxygen, don't delay its use. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about oxygen devices, please visit our website at www firstclassmed.com or give us a call at 1-800-520-5726. Be sure to check out the First Class Medical YouTube channel and Facebook page videos for more valuable content. Please subscribe so that you don't miss any new videos.